what's going on shroomies and shroomettes it's your guy with the fungi easy blue thumb and we are back with an update video for our coco core casing layer and it has been proven to be successful so today we are going to harvest that success let's get it let's go okay okay six days later we have pins nice look at that just popping through the surface we have another one taking the mycelium for a little joyride on the top of the cap man so cool so cool smells beautiful looks beautiful give you guys a 360 we have some side pins forming up nice mycelial growth yeah 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 eight days later i think it's safe to say we are in the clear none of the nasty c word that we shall not mention this has been a success now one thing that i've noticed and maybe it's because it's my first time adding a casing layer but i do have a lot more side pins than I had in my previous grow now granted the previous grow was different genetics different grains uh, different substrate and I didn't have a casing layer so maybe that played a factor in it I don't know I'm just giving my observation from this grow this is will be my second harvest 10 days later and we're good i i'm happy with this i can say side pins and all no discrimination side pins need love too so we will harvest dehydrate and do what we need to do with those side pins day 13 and it is harvest day let's go yes the day we have all been waiting for and look at these weirdos Look at this guy right here, straight out of a sci-fi horror flick or something. Super cool. Like I said, no discrimination. Side pins need love too. And this is cool. The best thing about this for me in this hobby is just watching the growth of the mushroom. Look at these weird little caps that they have. Look at that. Now they feel hard just like the stem a little bit. You know, they feel just like the stem. It's a little bit of a different texture from the cap. Super cool. So we're just going to go ahead and harvest. And this one was one of my uh, biggest side pins. That's pretty cool looking. And we're going to want to use the twist and pull method and we're going to try to minimize the substrate that we pull away you know we don't want to tear into the substrate so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use my snips and i'm going to just pry the mushroom away from the substrate and i'm also using that to separate the mushroom from the other mushroom that it's stuck to so guys, if you're wondering, for this particular grow, I used MushCultSupply.com grain and substrate. I used one quart grain jar and their CVG substrate mixture. If you guys check out MushCultSupply.com, use code EZB at checkout for 10% off. And for the Coco Core casing layer, we did our in-home 
bucket tech thanks to Philly Golden Teacher. Yes, yes, I did flick the nipple on the cap. They feel super weird. It's crazy. The cap has a different texture than that weird party hat nipple. The party hat nipple feels like the stipe or the stem. It feel, it's weird, but it's so cool at the same time, you know, growing different genetics and seeing how different mushroom actually grow and develop man <laughs> it's crazy yeah man so i'm gonna go ahead and harvest these babies up you guys kick back and enjoy And while I'm doing this harvest, I want to take time to thank everyone for subscribing to the channel and engaging with the channel via Discord, Instagram. Some of you guys emailed me, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm really thankful and grateful for you guys. I would have never even thought that the channel would have grown this fast. So... I appreciate you shroomies and shroomettes for rocking with your boy. Definitely means a lot. I'm going to continue to try to bring the best content possible. So right here, we're just going to leave the mushrooms that are not ready. Of course, you know, I got none but time. We're just going to let them open up, see if uh, the rest of the side pins will fully mature. And then we'll harvest up those too. So I'm going to go ahead and clean up my area. And we're going to try to see if we can put this cake back in the tub without breaking it in half. So let's see. Let's see. Alright, so for this transfer, we're going to do this nice and easy, making sure that our cake does not break. Okay, cool, cool. Alright, that's pretty much it. We're good to go. We're going to reset our six quart dub tub lid. We're going to wait for the rest of these mushies to do their thing and fully develop. And we will get back to them later. So we're going to go ahead and stuff this back in our tent. Look what we got. All right, shroomies and shroomettes, another successful grow in the books. Let's go. I have an announcement to make as well. EasyBlueThumb.com is up and running. Let's go. We have hoodies, t shirts, slides. Go cop your granny one. Get her a mug too while you're at it. I appreciate the love and support. I appreciate y'all for rocking with your boy. Y'all be easy. Peace.